Hello, my beautiful Fram. Yes, you. Thank you for watching. A group hug. And ah, I have got a very juicy exclusive to share with you guys. But I cannot talk about what it is in the headline or tell you what it is. I have to bury it in the video. Not as a tease to get you to watch, but just in case my source is watching. I don't want my source finding out yet. Oops, I may get in trouble for this. <laughs> it's good. I'm also going to be talking today, Beyonce, Jay-Z, the Kardashians, Meghan McCain, Liam Hemsworth, Camila Cabello, and more. But we need to start today by discussing Chrissy Teigen. I know she's a very polarizing person. I like her. But... Recently, John Legend's wife has started to rub me the wrong way. If you guys didn't follow when she did a whole Q&A with her fans on Twitter, she was asked, what's one activity that she can no longer do because she's so famous? And she said, go to the grocery store. And I just wanted to bash my head in. Chrissy Teigen is not an A-list star. I really like her. But she's a solid B-lister. Not even B+. Plus. She's a B-lister. She can go to the supermarket, especially in Los Angeles. And if she's so concerned that people are going to bug her, then go with the security guard. In LA, that's universal code for that person wants to be left alone. Don't go ask for a photo. And they won't. Or your security will block a person who does break that etiquette and ask for a photo. But that was a little bit ago. What just happened is that Chrissy took to social media to complain and put John Legend on blast, revealing a private text exchange between the two of them because he invited his fellow The Voice coaches to their house to have a dinner. She did not know it was the dinner after the very last episode, the season finale. And she complained that if she would have known, she would have planned something bigger and would have had an ice cream truck and this and that and the other. What has happened to Chrissy Teigen is the same thing that happened to the Kardashian Jenners. They have lost all sense of reality. Their new reality is of being ultra rich and in a bubble. Oh, you couldn't have an ice cream truck there? You couldn't plan this extravagant A-list affair? Boo-hoo! It reminded me a bit of Meghan McCain and her apology yesterday. It wasn't even an apology. It was more like an explanation. We're all family. Did you guys watch that? Things got heated on The View on Monday. And then yesterday, Whoopi had to do some cleanup. And Megan was clearly forced to address the drama that happened. I could tell by her speech and her body language that she hated every second of it. Couldn't even do a good job at that. It was like pulling teeth out of her if you watched that. And listen, like Chrissy Teigen, I also really, I genuinely like Chrissy Teigen and I genuinely like Megan McCain. But sometimes... She, Megan, comes across like a spoiled, petulant child. And she should be a grown woman by now. Seriously. I would like to thank Cats, not for sponsoring this video, but they did send me this cute mug and I love free stuff. And they sent me this t-shirt and another t-shirt, which I gifted to my mom because that was an extra large. So... I'm shameless, and if you want to send me free stuff, <laughs> my mailing address is 8506 West 3rd Street, number 101, Los Angeles, California, 90048. Here's a little tea, not the exclusive that I had teased. Oh, God, I'm almost, oh, God, I reveal too much. A lot of the Christmas presents that I am giving away to colleagues and some family are re-gifts. Things that I've gotten that I'm 
free gifting. <laughs> I'm all about being frugal, yo. You have to be. I think I said this in yesterday's video. Live below your means, not even within them. If you can live below your means, that means re-gift. Like, I've said this before on my family channel, which if you're not following that yet, make sure you're following my family channel on YouTube. It's Perez Hilton and Family or youtube.com slash the Perez Hilton. I get a lot of stuff sent to my kids. I am so blessed and fortunate. You know my mailing address. And sometimes... I'll use some of those gifts to give to other kids if we're invited to a classmate's birthday party. <sighs> Below your means, y'all. I'm trying. It's hard. Oh, I love this, though. This is so cute. And inside the cup, it says, you will believe. Oh, and also, my friends, nice to know that they are my friends. The folks over at World of Wonder who produced RuPaul's Drag Race, sent me a holiday gift as well. This I'm going to keep because it's really cute and collectible. And inside was a cute little squirrel with a tiara on it. And I gave that to Mia because she's been behaving really well recently. So it was like a nice little gift for her. As I've spoken about before, there was drama with me and Drag Race when in season two or three, I spoiled the winner. I get exclusives and I, I, I don't usually sit on scoops. My whole job is to blab. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion serves the All right, let's keep it moving because I want to try to keep this video today shorter, not a 30 minute thing like I used to. I'm over that. I'm over that. Unless it's like, I have a lot to get to, and but I'm just trying to be, blah, blah, blah. says me who's talking a ton. All right, Justin Timberlake, as you may have heard, invited Jessica Biel to New Orleans to visit him on the set of his movie where the whole hand-holding drama went down. And he's also been extra, extra on Instagram these last few days, leaving very public comments on Jessica Biel, his wife's feed, she would post photos and he would comment heart, smiley face, heart. Or on another one, he commented squad. He's trying really hard and really publicly. And you know what? As he should. Also, speaking of the gram, Travis Scott liked one of Kylie Jenner's recent photos. Should we read into that? I don't know. Speaking of the card Jenners, Kylie's sister Kendall Jenner is back together with Ben Simmons. I don't. Kendall is my least favorite card Jenner. She, I, I prefer uh, Rob even to her. She's like the least, just because she's so boring and has the least personality, in my opinion. I mean, every once in a while, you'll get a little something from her. Like when she was doing the whole Kylie lip thing, that was kind of funny, but. Also, her half sister, sister Chloe, got a lot of flack recently for not posting anything for Mason and Rain's birthday. They each celebrated their birthday recently, and Chloe explained that she didn't post anything because they're not on social media. Duh. But Auntie Kim did post something. And Auntie Kim appeared on the Ellen DeGeneres show this week and revealed that her daughter, Northwest, was photoshopped in the family photo for their holiday card and kind of threw her under the bus. Did, did she? I don't know. Like, or not. Or maybe it makes her relatable. Sometimes kids will be kids or... I don't know. I'm trying to think, like... North might come across in the eyes of some as a diva for that episode, that incident. But she's also just a six-year-old girl. It happens. I, 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 I'm only sort of joking when I say, you know, she outed her as a diva. She's a six-year-old. It happens. Um, all right, here we go. 
nobody, my source probably is not watching at the 10 minute mark, but you are, and I'm gonna give you the scoop. Okay, so, I'm, not, I'm not talking about this anywhere else. This is just for my YouTube fram as a show of appreciation, or, or, or if you're watching this on Facebook, for my fram that watches videos in full. This is past the 10 minute mark. You are a VIP member of my fram. So, you may not care about this, but I care about it. A lot of people in Kardashian-Jenner circles, friends and colleagues are freaking out right now because they have not gotten invitations to the annual Christmas party, which last year was held at Kim and Kanye's house for the first year and the girls planned. I'm not saying it's not happening, but that's a possibility. It's also a possibility that they've just made it much smaller this year and maybe this will get back to them and they'll start inviting more people. I don't even know, but a lot of people are sad and upset that they made the list every year for many years past and thus far this year they have not gotten an invite and invites are usually sent out already by now for the Kardashian-Jenner Christmas party. That's all I'm saying. All right, speaking of Kim Kardashian, her husband, Kanye West, had a face-to-face -face with his frenemy, Jay-Z, at Diddy's birthday party recently. And according to reports out of that, the two of them were cordial and actually have made peace. So that's nice to know. Also, from that party, I don't know for sure, but I don't think there was a no cell phone policy. They didn't confiscate phones. I saw a lot of video footage from inside that party. And Jay-Z saw some dude taking video of Beyonce on the dance floor and yanked the phone out of his hand. Unless there was a no cell phone policy, I think Jay-Z was very out of line. What do you think? I also think that rocks. San is a superstar and I have to thank her so much for super chatting me yesterday. Cheers to you. I send you hearty soup. Nuts to soup. Also, thank you to Michelle Lay and Jannie Cullen. All of them watch my videos, subscribe to this channel, have the notifications turned on, chat with me and have super chatted me recently. If you can, out of the kindness of your heart, this holiday season and beyond, I ask, like big YouTubers do on Patreon, to consider donating. All I ask is a dollar a month. Anybody who watches regularly, if you enjoy me on the regular, donate a dollar a month. You can do that by when I'm live, hitting the dollar icon underneath this chat box or a future premiere. So thank you. All right. On to Liam Hemsworth. It seems like he and his girlfriend, Madison Brown, are done, and he's already moved on to another girl, another Australian. This one is 21-year-old model Gabriella Brooks, who is, oh, God. Oh, my God. That's, ew, that's creepy. I just did the math. She's 21 years old. And for the last four years, she was dating Matt Healy of the 1975. And he's, let me see how old he is. He's 30. So she was either 17 or 16 when they started dating. And he was 26. That's sketch to me. And I'm a little nervous and concerned that Liam has moved on so quickly from that other girl to this other girl. And it's already gotten serious because Liam has introduced Gabriella Brooks to his parents in Australia. The fact that he's not really settling down with any one girl, to me, it leaves the door open for Miley. And I don't think they should get back together. That's just me. Speaking of couples news, according to multiple reports from People Magazine to E! Online, Teresa Giudice and her, Giudice, Giudice, I think is how they pronounce it, and her husband Joe Giudice are officially over. 
though she has no plans to file for divorce anytime soon because she doesn't want that for her children at the moment. But hello, we saw that coming a mile away. On to some music news, some sad news for Camila Cabello. Her new album in its second week has dropped out of the Billboard album charts top 10. Oh, yeah, yeah. More music news. I really, really, really would love it if journalists stopped asking Selena Gomez about Taylor Swift. I'm so bored with that question. And it seems like every journalist is asking Selena some question about Taylor Swift. At this point in her promo cycle, come on, journalists, do better. Ay, ay, ay. Speaking of journalists, Star Wars star Adam Driver got really upset at one journalist, NPR host Terry Gross, the host of the show, um, what's the show? Uh, Fresh, I forget the name of this, whatever, some NPR show, um, very reputable journalist, was interviewing Adam Driver, who notoriously does not like watching clips of himself or listening to audio of himself. And when an audio clip of him singing from a recent movie of his was played, he stormed off. To me, that's very unprofessional. They told him, take, take the headphones off. And if you don't like hearing yourself or watching yourself, like, should you really be an actor? Like, wouldn't you think actors would want to watch themselves to think, oh, how can I be better? What can I do better? Should I do this differently? I don't know. Like, that's what athletes do, right? Athletes analyze their plays and analyze and watch and watch and learn. And some musicians do that too. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, let's move on to some sad news and update on Chewy Bravo's death. The former Chelsea Lately sidekick died due to a gastrointestinal hemorrhage. And then he suffered an acute myocardial infarction, which I'm pretty sure that means a heart attack, but I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. My hair's looking good in this light. It looks, it looks blonde. It looks like I have highlights and I don't. I like it. Uh, and finally, poor thing. As many of you know, Princess Beatrice is planning to get married next year. And according to new reports, her father, the beleaguered Prince Andrew, is going to go through with walking her down the aisle. I will end things with an open question to you watching this right now. Do you think Prince Andrew should step aside and let his ex-wife, Fergie, walk Beatrice down the aisle? I don't. He's not perfect, but he's her father. And they, I think, have a good relationship. And thus far, he hasn't committed any crime that he's been found guilty of. Worded myself carefully. Um, I mean, if she doesn't want him to, then that's one thing. But if she does want him to, then I think he should. Um, I don't know. That's it. I want to wrap things up. Thank you for everything. I love you. If you enjoyed this, you know what to do. Hit the like button, leave a comment, follow, subscribe, share. Sign up for my newsletter at PerezNewsletter.com. Stream my song, OK Boomer by Perez Hilton. Everywhere you enjoy music, buy some merch at BuyPopStuff.com. Listen to my podcast, the Perez Hilton Podcast, the Chris Booker on Apple Podcasts or directly at PerezPodcast.com. Follow me on the website across social media. We're everywhere from Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Snapchat, and TikTok. Have a beautiful, blessed day. You deserve it. Mwah!